Hello, 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 everybody. I'm Prattle Road, and if you're anything like me, you were probably scratching your head a bit when you first saw the City Skyline's trolley bus. And yeah, just looking at it, it's basically just a bus that requires extra infrastructure, which at first glance makes them seem like a bus with extra disadvantages. The extra infrastructure seems to ruin the whole point of having buses in your city. So today we'll be discussing the major advantages and disadvantages of the three bus types as well as trams in city skylines so that you can build the best bus line for your city. To figure out the purpose of each bus, I decided to put the various bus types and the tram to the test. I used a mix of the statistics available in the descriptions of each depot and my own experimentation to determine the best kind of short distance public transport. Firstly, let's discuss the elephant in the room infrastructure. The trolley bus requires you to upgrade your existing rows to have trolley bus wires. These add an additional $5 per lane in upfront costs and $4 per lane per cell in upkeep expenses. Its depot also has a much larger footprint, although it only costs $40,000 to build, which is the same as the biofuel bus and tram. However, that is $10,000 more than you would pay for a normal bus depot. Additionally, the trolley bus will only work on plain style roads. That means no avenues, no trees, no grass, no bike lanes, and your trolley buses will always be at the mercy of your traffic patterns since there are no bus lane roads with trolley bus wires. The trams also require additional infrastructure which adds between 10 and 15 dollars per lane per cell and between 13 and 14 cents per lane per cell and upkeep. It doesn't always need to deal with traffic though, thanks to an extra lane in the medium tram road and the ability to build standalone tram tracks. Worth mentioning though is that the trolley bus depot is the least expensive in terms of upkeep, at $640 per week. This is in comparison to $720 for a normal bus depot, $768 for a tram depot, and $960 for the biofuel bus depot. The tram uses less water than the others at 80 cubic meters as opposed to 160 for the trolley bus, 240 for the biofuel bus, and 320 for the normal bus depot. Among buses, the biofuel bus is a clear winner in terms of electricity though, using only 640 kilowatts compared to 800 which is used by the other two buses. The tram, however, only uses 240. The biofuel bus also wins in terms of how quiet it is. It's only rated at 25 units of noise pollution versus the 50 for the others, as well as having the quietest buses. The tram, meanwhile, outputs 75 units of noise pollution. None of the depots release ground pollution, so that won't be a concern in your city. But what about the lines themselves? How much will it cost you to build a new line? Well, the normal and biofuel buses come in at $12 weekly per bus, uh, while the trolley bus and tram will cost you $20 a week for a single vehicle. All that said, which bus type should you build in your city? Or what about the trams? Well, if you have a city with a lot of plain style roads, the trolley bus could add a bit of character to your city. If you work a lot with fancier roads or manage traffic with bus lanes, though, it may be to your detriment to convert to the trolley bus. It has a relatively average price tag associated with it, so it's really just a matter of how much you like it compared with the other types of buses. It's also really only cost effective on shorter routes, after which the infrastructure cost becomes too high. So there's the answer. That's the purpose of a trolley bus. It's basically just a more interesting and expensive bus. But what about the others? Well, the biofuel bus largely fits in with the broader theme of the Green Cities DLC that it comes in. It generally uses less resources and is slightly more pleasant to your citizens. However, it comes with a fairly hefty price tag. If you like its functions and the way it looks, and your city's budget is well enough balanced to handle it, go for it! If not, maybe stick with one that's a little bit less pricey. It's worth noting that in a large system, the depot's exorbitant price tag is basically a non-factor, so it may be better for a city with lots of buses. The tram is quite pricey, especially when it comes to infrastructure. Because of that, 
It seems like it's really only viable on routes that would significantly benefit from the additional capacity it provides. But if you want overall cost efficiency, don't care for building a bunch of extra infrastructure, or just find the additional features of the biofuel and trolley buses unnecessary, the normal bus is probably your best bet. So what's your favorite short distance public transport method? Let me know using the poll that should appear in the card right about now. Thanks for watching to this point in the video. If you enjoyed it, like the video to let me know. Share it with friends who you think might be interested, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you see more content like this. Check out my website, linked in the description, where you can find the chart with all of my findings on it. And until next time, have a nice day.